Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we've got uh, Hello Pollution. It's available for a grand total of, make sure I'm on the right capture here, hold up, we'll get it back, $8.99 on Steam. I'll make sure that we're capturing the right thing here, and that should pop up in a moment. So we're playing as uh, Jacob Mudstone. He says, hello, I have some junk I would like you to dispose for me. Thank you. And it pops down into the landfill. Sounds good, dude. You missed a rat. You don't go, you go over the, yeah, yeah, you get to, you don't get to, you don't get put into the landfill. You get to jump over the, the thing there, okay? Gnome? Yeah. We'll toss a gnome down there as well. Another garbage bag. Why are people throwing out their lamps? It's a perfectly good lamp here, you know? Perfectly good lamp. Perfectly good tire. Uh, we got our nuclear facility to go work in now. Nuclear power plant says, Hi, I represent a large nuclear facility nearby. We need to get rid of this nuclear waste. Don't worry, I probably got a hole in the ground I can dump it in. Make sure you don't break these barrels or you'll ruin the environment and attract unwanted attention to our operations. Don't break the barrels. Okay, I broke a barrel. I broke another barrel. Look, it's, it's quite difficult to not break the barrels, okay? Down you go. Okay, that barrel's broken. Down you go. Over you go. Smash these things. Yeah, just smash the barrels. I'm going to go ahead and move this in nice and slowly. Get it spun. Come on, spin around a little bit more. Perfect. Beautiful. Don't worry, I didn't bring too much attention in. You will be undisturbed. The the bunnies are a little bit green. Christina Webforth is finally clearing out her, uh, her daughter's hoarder's house because her daughter... Okay, her husband died. She was left with a lot of junk because her husband was a hoarder. Yes, I can take care of it. I've got a hole in the ground we can dump it in. Don't even worry about it. Off you go. We got an attention meter? Hold up, that's a flower. Let's burn the flower. Burn the garbage. Burn it all, dude. You what? <laughs> what? Here, go, go in there. You what? There's a... Huh. Can we burn the lamp? We can char it a little bit. You know what? You guys get smushed. Okay, and I'm going to take this back out. We're going to burn it. We're going to get you out of here, okay? Don't worry. I'm, I'm getting you out. Get out of there. Tires, tires burn, tires burn, don't they? Not very well, but I mean, they do burn, right? Down you go. Down you go. Down you go. Down you go. And we're gonna burn that. Burn them. You light on fire. You got clothes and stuff? That's That clothes will burn. What's in the box? Let's just smush, smush it down there, all right? Get it as smushed as we can get it. We're going to have to burn this tire. We're going to have to... Hold up. We're running out of space here. <laughs> My hole only has so much space. Okay? It's overflowing a little bit, but... Gene Research Laboratory. We got a bunch of uh, sheep that we need to, to bury. My name is Gary. I have contaminated materials and very dangerous barrels filled with poisonous chlorine gas. That's why you're... Suit is cut in half. Burn everything else except the barrels. Be careful. Be careful with the barrels. Be careful with the barrels. 
What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Huh? Let's get that in there. Hold up. These are gonna get smashed, dude. We got a mat. We got a mattress. We got mattresses coming in. Hold up. This barrel is. This barrel is dying. There's nothing against it. It's just that some barrels. Some barrels don't live. Okay. Some barrels don't get to live. Yeah, get out of here. We're gonna dump this barrel down in here as well. Yeah, whatever. It, it's fine. Burn the barrel. List of crimes. Release a deadly chlorine gas. Look, the barrels are super fragile and I don't have a very, you know, good method of moving them. You gave me a mouse pointer and I have to, to handle these highly fragile. You think you put them in like a more sturdy container. You know, but they, they they put them in the in the glass vials because you know that makes a whole ton of sense. We're just gonna start building up barrels over here. We'll just start building up the barrels, okay, and uh, burning the other stuff. And then after we get all of the barrels, we will uh, then move them down nice and safely. Nice and safely. You are a dangerous barrel. I don't know what all this paperwork is. But I don't like it. I don't want you to be spinning. Down you go. Nice and easy there. Down you go. Yeah, it's okay. One barrel being crushed is uh, no big deal. You know, one barrel being crushed is it's expected. You're not, you're not, you're not gonna have a perfect record, right? Let's not be so two barrels being crushed. Still, still within expectations. Okay. Two barrels being crushed is within expectation. Smash it, dude. Just smash it. I can just actually... Just smash it, dude. Just smash it. We only got a little bit of chlorine gas anyway. Off to the pet food factory. We got a bunch of dogs that have died because our pet food sucks. It's going to be sad. My name is Roger. <clears throat> I would like you to destroy this pet food. As I understand, we're a bit like colleagues. Let's just <laughs> say this food has something perhaps too human and the officials are on top of us. Get rid of it. Oh no. Oh dearie. Oh dear, oh my. You tell me we got human bodies in this? Hold up, what's in this? I would like to destroy this. I want to destroy them. I wish I want to destroy these and see what's inside, but unfortunately I cannot. I have no idea what the, the light is. Hey, check out this dog food. I don't think it's really dog food. Look at that. Oh, yeah. they the, the police really don't like these guys, eh? Unlawful disposal of human remains. Life in prison. Oh, dear. What have I done? What have I done? Hi, mister. My name is Roger. Ahem. I would like you to destroy this pet food. As I understand, we're a bit like colleagues. Let's just say that this food has something perhaps too human and the officials are on to us. Get rid of it. <laughs> just don't get it seen in the light. We're good to go. It's nighttime. See that? And we got uh, we got this for some reason. The, the police are just kind of only looking where the light is. It's perfectly bright for me to work in the dark, but apparently they can't see. Stop. Put that up there. I want to break them, though, you know? You didn't see anything. You saw nothing. You saw nothing at all. Don't question it. Just accept that there was a... Ah! I was fiddling with the pen, and then I dropped the pen. Sometimes, you know, it happens. It happens. You don't want it to happen because it scares you, but... 
You don't have a choice. It, it happens. It's just one of those things, you know, that uh, that can happen. You need to be upright, please and thank you. So we're going to drop you here like this. You're going to land upright. Now we move you over here into there. Boom, beautiful. Look at look at this movement. One more and I know exactly where I'm putting it. I know exactly where I'm putting it. Right there. You thought I was going to stand it up here. You thought I was going to stand it up. No. Uh, we are off to the Gene Research Laboratory. They've got some more uh, chlorine gas for us to dispose of. Laboratory experiment subjects. Things didn't go as planned. I sure can. Please forget that we ever contacted you. Contacted who? Dangerous materials need to be buried underground about you know five feet or so well maybe not five feet but like two or three get out of here dude get out of here I don't like you being underground that's very scary that is very uh, very scary burn it dispose of it deftly okay by deftly I mean um, dump it I am. Um, I'm having troubles getting this up here, you know? You will not do that. You will not. You understand me? And then these are the final two. So you're just going to go down there. And you're gonna go right here. Boom! Beautiful, perfect job, flawless. Hold up. We'll just sneak you on in there. Oh, Jacob Mudstone's got some more stuff to dispose of. He's been killing some more peeps. Hello again. Didn't mention that I work as an accountant. I have some old papers that I would like to get rid of. Thank you. You're welcome. For being somebody who actually says thank you for once. Jacob, you're good, you're a good dude, you know that? Uh, so this is gonna be a bit of a, a Tetris y situation here. Don't worry, I am a master Tetris player. Not gonna help that we have uh, a dang rat sitting down there, taking up some space, but burying a little bit of a, a couple of rats with uh, with the garbage, I mean luck. You know what you were getting into when you when you signed up as a uh, as the kind of person who deals with garbage. Sometimes you got to bury a few rats. It's just the way it's just the way life goes. Give me that back. There we go. I had to make sure we actually completed it. I wasn't cheating on this one. Jimmy the Red Shoe. His name's Sanji. We have heard good things about you and your services. Here's uh, some money we need you to hide. Hide the money and make sure nobody knows what is give me a fire. Aw oh, man. No fire. I really wanted a fire, man. I really I was I was I was hoping for the fire. I wanted the fire. I'll dump your money underground though. No promises I'll tell you where I put it. You know what? We're gonna be we're gonna be nice to you. We're even gonna separate it. We're gonna keep your money on one side and your garbage on the other side. Okay, we'll uh, we'll keep them separate but together. That's a fat stack of bills right there. That is a safe. Of course, you want your safe with your money. Get underground. Be underground, okay? You be underground as well. You be underground as well. I want you inside before you smash. Now you can smash. Underground. I said underground and then smash. Okay, just get, get, get in there. And the safe goes in there as well. I said I was gonna split them. Um, unfortunately, you just you have too much money. You have too much money. Hi, Mister. We have some old meat that we'd like you to mix with the fresh one. Uh, it's not my job. I bury stuff. Hello? Hello? 
This is so that we can reuse it in our products. We just need a signed paper to prove that we have disposed all our old rotten meats. Okay, so I guess it is my job now because uh, I'm not necessarily a garbage disposer. Use that meat grinder to mix these meats. I am a... Uh, merely... In you go. Oh, the father's going to be coming out as well. Yeah, let's, let's get some of this rotten, disgusting meat going on here. Get in there. Dogs don't need to eat good food. They need to eat old, rotten food, you know? Just get that, get that. These are the biggest pieces of meat I've ever seen in my life. Or the smallest meat grinder I've ever seen in my life. Smallest hole I've ever seen in my life, I guess. I'm not sure I'm getting in there and... Please. It's a little bit buggy at times, but, you know, hey. We fed the dogs. Poison. Christina the Weeb has come forth. Hello, dear. I have some more junk I found that I would like to get rid of. Is it another dead body? Thank you, sweetheart. Well, I guess we're not going to find out if it's another dead body, are we? We're never going to know. We're never gonna That's not junk, it's flowers, dude. That ain't junk. They flowers. Just take them out and put them in your garden. It's a gnome, dude. You can have uh, you can have your little spot up here. We'll even we'll even we'll even like make you nice and straight up. You okay? Okay, we'll get I'll get you straight up. I'll get you straight up. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, okay? Come on. So push them there and then oh hi. Push them here, and then take them down, and under, right there. TV, here, you're going to go down here. You got another gnome? You're going to go sit with your friend, with your, old, with your old pal over here. You have a nice business here. We're investigating recent disappearance of an elderly man. Have you seen anyone wandering around your contact us if you hear or see anything? You are going up here, dude. You have to be upright, though. Yeah, uh, I know, dude. Just allow me to do my job, okay? God, you guys are so annoying. Stupid FBI just thinking they owe me. I'm just a garbage disposal. I don't know what's going on with your dead man. I don't know what's going on with any any dog meat stuff. I mean, I have no part of this. I get garbage and I stick it in the ground like, uh, like God intended. You're going to go all the way down. You're going way down here. Why are you throwing out so many flowers, girl? Did you feed your dead husband to him? Now you gotta get rid of him? Is that what's going on here? Jimmy the Red Shoe has some... Nay. Hello. Boss told you to dispose of some snitches. Use some acid to get rid of him. Oh, dear lord. Also, remember to hide any remaining evidence. Oh, and don't forget all snitches end up in ditches. Alright, we got some acid. We're just gonna dump some acid right on down there. Yeah. Smack it. Smack it. Smack it. Uh, keep this one alive, though. Hey there, buddy. You're going down here and you're getting acided. You're getting acided. Hey there, snitch. You ever think about not snitching, huh? I think I did more than just polluting the environment there. I think I did more than just polluting the environment. To be honest with you, I'm pretty sure I did more than that. I'm a little bit offended that that's, uh, that's all we were charged with. Okay, so uh, we have to be careful about the amount of acid we're using here. You know, it's okay. That's okay. So we're going to go ahead and... Well, we have to toss some acid down there. Destroy some of it, okay? Destroy a couple of them, and then we'll, uh, we'll be super careful with the other ones. Hey there, Snitch. You're going to get... Uh, I'm going to burn your body right over here. Check that out. We're going to burn your body as well. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, don't worry, I'm going to get the rest of you too. And then we put you down here in the acid. Get burned, dude. And then we put you down here in the acid. Wait, we can burn you even more? Why haven't I been doing that? Get burned and go on down. 
get burned and go on down. Okay, now we take a uh, toxic container here and we take it down and we go wah pa 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 pa. Take a little container here, we take it down and we go wah pa. Take a little container here, we take it down and we go wah pa. Now these boys are getting, they're getting burnt, they're getting, you know, destroyed, melted away. Now we have to safely dispose of these toxic containers because they gave us too dang much, dude. We're dead. We're dead. I've polluted the environment again. What am I doing? Yeah, Jimmy the Red Shoot, I'll, I'll handle them this time. Don't worry about it. Look, last time I burned them a little bit, but they came back to life because I, I burned them too much, you know? This time we're going to burn them just enough. Don't burn that. That's bad. Kind of exploded it a little bit there, you know? It's not uh, it's not really what you want to do. Down you go, dude. Yeah, get burned. Get burned. We're going to send you down there as well. Look. Right right on down there. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. It's See you, dude. You're burning. You're dead. We're gonna send you down there. Look, you got your little, you got your little bro skeleton here. You know how could you be? How could you be sad? How could you be sad? How could you be sad? We're gonna smash the uh, the the crate now. The crate, the the canister, the barrel. Get smashed. Now get melted. Now we have to take these down very carefully. It's important that we are super careful about this though, okay? Because they gave us they gave us too much acid. You know, these people, they're professionals. They know how much acid it takes to, to melt a body. Okay, have they not watched, you know, Breaking Bad? I've watched Breaking Bad. I know that this is too much acid for one section of destroying barrels, of, de of destroying bodies. Look at that. We'll just, we'll just... Hold this here nice and easy. Are we going to die because of that? No, we made it. We made it. We made it. The nuclear facility's got some more stuff for us to dispose of. Look, we'll do it. Hi, again, we would need you to get rid of this nuclear waste. Don't worry, I got you. Just remember to be careful and don't break these barrels. Break these barrels. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I do. You want me to destroy all of the barrels. That was like the worst way to handle that ever, eh? Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of acid has never never hurt anybody before. Go very carefully here. Too many barrels, dude. Hold up, we gotta we gotta separate some of these. We gotta separate them very carefully. Just destroy it, dude. Just destroy it. We gotta, we gotta smarten up here, okay? We gotta collect the barrels and then promptly dispose of them in a manner that is safe to the environment, i.e., bury them in the ground and forget about them. Bury them in the ground and then forget they ever existed. That's what my mom always said. You have a problem, just stick it in the ground. No more problem. See this? I got a box. I burn it. I don't have a box anymore. I'm not saying I'm a wizard, but... I mean, come on. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. This has been Hello Pollution. Again, it is available on Steam for $8.99 Canadian, probably like $8 American or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, it's weird, but I had a good time with it. I had a good time playing this game. This was a, this was a fun one. It was simple, it was easy to understand, and that's kind of my uh, my cup of tea lately. Because I've been playing a lot of games that are very complicated to understand, like uh, 
don't feed the humans. I, mean, I didn't get what was going on there at all. I didn't really pay attention to the tutorial, but... Um, yeah, it was weird. It was weird. Um, if it looks like your cup of tea, then pick it up, man. It's, uh, it is it is what it is. This game is exactly as it appears. And uh, I'm here for it. Uh, but that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.